Hey ladies, welcome to my pregnancy vlogs. I am 10 weeks, one day today. Sorry this is going up late. Um, I'm going to do, uh, talk about week 8 and week 9 since I didn't do a week 8 vlog last week. So, let's see, week eight was, um, let's see if I had any doctor's visits. Week eight would have been, uh, the week of the 23rd to the 27th, we had a, my first prenat uh, perinatologist appointment, the high risk OB. Um, we got a ultrasound of the baby, and I will show you that. I've got everything on my organizer here. I'll show you in my belly book. So, if you remember, baby was uh, looking kind of not really baby ish. So this was baby at eight weeks. It's got a head and it's pretty crazy to see that. Um, let's see. And then here's the picture with the heartbeat. Oops. You can see it. The heartbeat was 160 beats a minute. And I was just like really looking for a heartbeat. Uh, I know most of you guys know the feeling of just making sure it's still there. When Tina was actually looking at the baby, she said she saw it moving. So that's really cool that that, that was happening. Um, but uh, baby was measuring really well. Uh, the doctor came in and said everything looked really well. And that um, he doesn't anticipate too much happening <laughs> for this pregnancy. So um, it's going to be uneventful, which, you know, is what we want. <laughs> we want uneventful. Um, and then, let's see, the, no the symptoms that week, nausea, um, pretty bad nausea, um, I think I was in the ER that week. I went to the ER because I couldn't hold anything down. Not anything. Um, so I went and had to be hydrated. I had to be given a couple bags of saline solution. Um, and they gave me some nausea medication. Um, so th things were, were kind of hectic. I, was, I got real sick. So the nausea is there. Heartburn still. Um, Breast tenderness is still there. Not too much, but it's there. Um, that's about it. And then week nine, most eventful week, I guess. <laughs> week nine, I went to my uh, second OB appointment, which was that Monday, and I was exactly nine weeks, I believe, 30th. I would have been, yep, nine weeks on the 30th. I'm trying to look at everything on the screen. Um, Everything was good. He did an external ultrasound. He said that everything looked well. Um, mm -hmm. That what he could see. Um, you know, it's really hard to still do it from the outside, but he thought everything was really good. Um, he uh, prescribed Finergan, which is a Class C medication. But in if if I ever get to the point where I have to go to the ER, like I did last that week before, um, this would save me an ER visit. So. We'll take it if we need it. Um, I was down um, a few pounds. I was a, I've been about 180 the whole time, and I was a 177, so I had lost some weight at that appointment. Um, doctor didn't seem too concerned about it, um, so he says everything looked fine and everything was good. So we went over some of my blood work that I did. I got. All my blood work, my pre, uh, prenatal blood work, all came back good. 
no anemia or anything like that. So that's that's good. You know, we like to hear things like that. Um, symptoms were about the same. Nausea. Um, and that's, I mean, that's been pretty consistent the whole time. Um, the tenderness in my breast is actually starting to go away. It's not as bad. Um, heartburn for sure. After I eat a, like a lot of foods have been giving me heartburn. Um, my craving for sweets have really diminished. Like everything is more sweet than it, than it, than it has been. So I really, I crave more salty and sour things. So I'd rather have chips or pickle or that, you know, everything sweet. We had birthday cake last week and it was just too overwhelming. I couldn't finish it. If you hear Miss Tina, she's over here. What up? Hiding out, trying to make comments. Nice. Making peanut gallery comments. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for that. Oh, okay, I went. So I noticed that my bras were starting to cut into the side of my um, breasts. And, you know, that usually indicates it's time for a new bra. So I went to the motherhood store at our mall here um, you can go online and take a look and I got a couple pair pants still because the doctor said that they didn't that the half band is not good the pregnancy band that's only halfway is not good for women like me who have to give myself injections on a regular basis and that he prefers the full panel um, so I bought a couple of those um, and then I went bra shopping. So the lady, it, it, if you go into the store, they'll measure you um, around the, uh, the the bus line. They'll measure you cup-wise and, and try to figure out what size you are. Well, before pre-pregnancy, I have always worn a 40 double D. So that's what size I normally wear. Well, I went to the doctor, and sure enough, we went from 40 double D, or not to the doctor, I went to the uh, motherhood store, she measured me, and went from 40 double D to 40 F. So I've grown two cup sizes, and I am not even in my second trimester yet. So, um, I, you know, of course I cried, I was upset <laughs> that they've gotten so big, but, you know, I know that it, they're going to get bigger, but, you know, whatever it is. For baby to come and be healthy, we're um, willing to endure. So that's that. That's the, that was the most exciting thing last week that happened. Um, oh, and while I was at mother, the motherhood store, they give you the uh, package. You get a package with like a bunch of gift cards and stuff in it. So I have in my hand, I have a $20 um, Shutterfly gift card. Um, I got two packets. So I used one already, and I have this one. Now, um, whoever messages me first for this $20 gift card, it's a free $20. You can use it in the Shutterfly um, store, and you know, you have $20 towards whatever you use for it. I will give you the code and where to enter it, and you'll have this card so you can order. I also got... Um, It is a gift certificate for one utter cover. So if you um, message me or just put in the comments that you would like the code for this, this can be used multiple times uh, for multiple people. I will give you the code for a free utter cover. All you pay is the shipping on it. Um, same thing with the seven sling. Have a gift card for Seven Sling. Um, good for a free baby carrier of your choice. Um, this is up to forty-eight dollars, so you just pay shipping on this one. This one is up to thirty-two dollars, so you pay free shipping on this one. And then also the car seat canopy, or yeah, car seat canopy. I got a gift card for that. So if you would like any of these codes. Just let me know and I will get them for you and that way you can enjoy the savings too. I've ordered quite a bit of things from this so when I get them we'll do a baby buys. Um, that's about it. Try not to make this a long one. 
Um, I know you've been asking about my organizer and stuff, so I will do a separate video. Excuse me. Now, the reason why, I guess that was, a, the reason why I'm a day late on this vlog is because yesterday I had quite a scare. I was um, using the restroom, and this is TMI, so if you don't want to hear this, I suggest not watching anymore. Um, I went to the restroom, and when I stood up, a gush came out of me. I thought I wasn't done peeing yet. I thought I was still out of pee, so I sat back down. Um, when I went to wipe, it was bright red blood. Um, it freaked me out, of course. Nobody pregnant ever wants to see blood on tissue when you wipe. So when I looked in the toilet, the whole toilet was full of red blood in the water. So no clotting, just blood. So it freaked me out. I wanted to get home right away to Tina and call my doctor the after our emergency number and find out what they wanted me to do. So I got in the car. I started. I turned on the, the, the heater and I was like, I got to sit for a minute until it gets warm. And I'm not quite sure the exact time lapse, but I opened my eyes and I was slumped over into the passenger seat. So I had uh, blacked out. Um, the, the idea that the doctor was giving me was probably about 10 minutes. Um, so that scared me even more. So I immediately called the after hour emergency number and they um, three way patched me through to get a, an ambulance. So I was ambulance, picked up at the school in an ambulance, had a call Tina to come get the car and then come see me um, and was taken to the hospital to see what's going on um baby is okay tina saw a heartbeat um the paperwork says the heartbeat was there 135 beats a minute and tina said she saw baby moving around all crazy so everything was fine with baby um i talked to my doctor this morning and he believes that i'm creating um subhematomas the little sacks of blood and then that's what happened that the blood just kind of the, the sack just kind of popped and the blood came out. So he just wants to make sure that if I have more in there that they're not around the baby. Um, and if they're forming that they're not forming around the baby. So that way we can, if this happens and we understand what's happening. Okay, and that's about it. So I go to the doctor tomorrow. I'll give you an update tomorrow about what the doctor says. And that's going to be it. I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye.